So the pandemic is still sweeping the country. People are afraid, anxious, worried. Why? You might get it. You might die. Oh, so what's the mortality rate? Well, for dogs, the mortality rate is 100%. For cats, the mortality rate is 100%. For us human beings, the mortality rate is more than 100%. You say, how can you have more deaths than you have people? Well, if you read the Bible, you discover that there's some people who died twice. Uh, during the ministry of the prophet uh, Elijah, he raised a boy from the dead, but he died. Elijah, there were two raised from the dead, but they died the second time. Jesus raised three people from the dead. He raised the widow's son at Nain, Luke 7, Jairus' daughter, Mark 5, Lazarus, John 11, and Peter the apostle raised Dorcas from the dead. So you have seven people who died twice, which means the mortality rate for the human race is over 100%. Well, uh, take that seven and subtract two from it because there are two people who did not die. Enoch, Genesis uh, 5, 24. He walked with God and was not. Where God took him, he's gone, didn't die. And then, of course, there was Elijah. That fiery chariot went streaming by and created a tremendous whirlwind in its wake. And uh, <laughs> Elijah went up without dying, twisting, spinning in that whirlwind in the wake of that chariot. So still, you have five more deaths than you have people. Yes, I will die. You will die. The mortality rate is 100%. It says in Hebrews 9.27, it is appointed unto man once to die. What's so fearful about death? It's not death itself. That's a split second that just whizzes by. And now dying, uh, especially if there's long illness, can be troublesome. But death itself is just a split second. So what's so fearful about death? Well, the text tells us in Hebrews 9, 27, it's appointed unto man once to die. But after this, the judgment, oh my, it's not all over. You don't die like a dog and it's all over. No, you are a person. You will live forever someplace. Where is the question? We find the answer when we go to the Bible. Really, you can understand the Bible by thinking about two mountains. One, Mount Sinai. Fire, lightning, thunder, Moses coming down with those two tables of stone, Ten Commandments, fearsome, because we've broken them. For a bad start, we've broken the first one. We've put other gods before, before him. So we're in trouble with God. Mount Sinai, but then, thankfully, there's another mountain, Mount Calvary. Mount Calvary, where Jesus died for our sins. Moses comes down with those commandments. Jesus comes down from Mount Calvary, his garments stained with his own blood the nail prints in his hand, inviting you to believe on him, offering you full forgiveness of sin and life everlasting.